enjoying some breakfast, I see. You betcha. Mmm, this lettuce is so crispy. It must have been picked yesterday. It was. And here's the man who brought it to you, fresh from the country. Who's that? A truck driver. And what does a truck driver have to do with my breakfast? Plenty. Most of our food comes to the city on trucks. Many other things, too. We depend on them. They're on the roads in all kinds of weather. Just think of any goods or services, and there's probably a truck somewhere delivering them. Do you know what I did? I just stood on the street corner and watched the trucks go by. These are some of the trucks I saw. That one's an armored truck. A flatbed truck. A van. A cement mixer. A delivery truck or moving van. And a newspaper truck. I think he picked the right corner to stand on, don't you? So what did they do before there were trucks? Put horses and other animals to work, as our ancestors had done for thousands of years. Horses are gentle, and they can be trained to pull very heavy loads. They had to be shooed and fed, of course. And there was one little problem. Horses don't back up very well. The horse worked for a long time. Then, in Germany, they built the first truck, and horses didn't have to work so hard anymore. Here's one of the first trailer trucks. Some delivery vans, a dump truck, and here's another. In those early days, truck drivers were afraid to leave the city limits, and you can see why. Roads were very poor. They called that a road? Huh. Looks more like a ditch. No, this is a ditch, and trucks were always getting stuck in them. How did trucks ever get so big? Yes, you could put two old-fashioned ones into a new transport truck. In your grandfather's time, no one could imagine a truck this size. They'd find it hard to believe a truck could be so comfortable and reliable. Or that trucks would be carrying everything from ready-mix cement to jet fuel, and they'd be surprised at how many people like to drive them. Some drivers even have to wear a uniform. And a tie. A truck is bigger and stronger than anything else on the road. It'll drive you safely through all kinds of weather, pulling a heavy trailer behind. Not bad for a machine that takes only a few hours to build. How long does it take to put a truck together? Oh, five hours or so. Five hours? Well, that's not very long. It takes more time than that to build a model truck, doesn't it? The parts are already made when they arrive here at the assembly plant. They come from factories all across North America. This is the chassis coming in now. The chassis is the frame that holds the truck together. It's very strong. The cab fits on top and the wheels go underneath. So they build it on the chassis. Right. The front bumper goes on first. And the fuel tanks. Then they start working on the brakes and steering system. Parts of the chassis are being wrapped in brown paper. Can you guess why? Of course, it's going to be spray painted. Any small parts that shouldn't be painted are taped. But why are they painting the chassis so soon? I know why. It's easier to paint now, before the truck's on top. I never thought of that. I'm not just a fuzzy face, you know. In 
Inside the paint booth, the chassis is given a glossy black coat. It's painted all over. It must be warm inside those spacesuits. Now, if you've ever wondered what pulls a big transport truck up a steep hill, here's the answer. It's one of these. What are those? They're the engines. I thought they were spaceships. What do mice know about trucks anyway? This engine is going to be lowered onto a chassis. Five people guided into position. This is a job you can't do by yourself. The engine is joined up. Other people are now working on the cab. The cab is the front part of the truck, isn't it? Right. Before anything else is done to the cab, it's taken to the paint booth. The spacemen are painting again. The cabs are painted any color the customer wants. This one is being dried under heat lamps. The cab is still a shell, but it won't stay that way for long. One little cab? Sure does. The cab's beginning to look more like the front of a truck, isn't it? I think I know what's going to happen next. The cab and chassis will be joined together to make a truck. Exactly. The cab is lowered onto the chassis. All the electrical and air cables are connected up. This man knows where every cable goes. The steering wheel is tightened up. On another truck, the lights are checked out. They seem to be working fine. This truck's almost ready. Did they forget something? They haven't put on the wheels yet. Before leaving the plant, all the trucks are tested. When these rollers get up to speed, the inspector can see how the truck will behave on the highway. And if there are any big problems, he should be able to spot them. If I owned a truck, it would have a running wheel inside. Why? So you could exercise on long trips? Of course, and there'd be a fridge to keep my cheese in. If you built a truck, how would you make it special?